Hey you guys, um, I'm new to YouTube, but today I'm going to teach you how to play The Werewolves of Miller's Hollow. I find it a fun game because you don't know who's lying and who's actually telling the truth. Man, this camera doesn't like me. Struggles. All right, well, let's open it up. All right, so I'm gonna organize all the cards. So in in the box you should get this. This is actually the guide, but I'm gonna teach you how to play it. So let's actually get to the beginning. All right, this card is called a villager. You do nothing special. It's, it's really easy. It's re just really easy. Uh, the thief. This is a really hard to play with, so I'm going to talk about it later. I'll talk about that one later and that one later. This, this is called the fortune teller. You get to see one person's card each night. It's really fun, so choose carefully. Cupid, you wake up on the first night, and you pick two people. Those two people are lovers. If one of the lovers die, and then the other lover commits suicide, you can pick yourself as one of the lovers too. The hunter. You are a regular villager until you die. And then you get to pick one other person you get to go with, who comes with you. The witch uh, plays two powerful spells. You have poison, which you poison someone. You also have health. You can heal someone. You get to pick one of those each night or you can do none. Your choice. And then the classic werewolves, you pick someone you eat at night. And then let's get through these ones. This is the little girl. The little girl, you get a peek at night only when the werewolves are there. So, and if you if the werewolves see you, you die instantly. And now for the thief, the most confusing card. The thief. There are two, there would be three to two cards in the middle of the table or the circle you're playing as. You get to see two of the cards and you get to pick one of the cards to be. Okay? And then that happens at night. You wake up, someone dies, and then you gotta pick a sheriff. The sheriff is voted. You get to pick someone to be the sheriff. And the sheriff counts, votes, counts as two. And then. You guys vote to pick someone to lynch. And everything happens again. And there are three ways that you can win. One is the villagers. You kick out all the, all the werewolves. Two is the werewolves. You kill everyone else. Three, if Cupid's in there, it's the lovers. The two lovers must win. I actually got a lover one. And it was funny. Anyways... I'm also going to teach you how I usually play, because I play with my classmates at school. I usually play with the fortune teller. I play with... Here, let me get them. Let me get them situated. Like that one. Or are you two? Ah, oh, here. One, two. Okay. So I play with, of course, the villagers, the werewolves the hunter, the witch, and the fortune teller. And it's really fun. And when you get... And it can be an addictive game. And when you are advanced enough, then... And you can do anything. There's also one night mode that I like to play, but I'm not going to talk about it today. So, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Down below, sorry. And please subscribe if you like playing games. Talk to you guys later.